What's up guys? Retro Django here. Today we're going to talk about GoTech Drive. That we're going to install the GoTech Drive, we're going to check out the menu, how to set up games, how to start games and maybe play a game later. I don't know. But before we do that, I just want to share a little story with you guys. Back in the days when we bought our Amigas, we could have hard disk solutions. I started with an Amiga 600. I didn't have a hard disk, but there were hard disks of 20 megabyte, 40 megabyte, uh, small hard disks, and I don't know how many megabyte this is, but you could buy this, and I mean, the prices were as much as an Amiga 600, maybe more, I don't know, but you could just connect it here. Um, today we have much more modern solutions with compact flash cards, you guys. Uh, well, we just installed these IDE T, IDE2 compact flash reader, like this or like this, and install a compact flash card. But back then, after I sold my Amiga 600, when I got my Amiga 1200, they were a cheaper solution. <laughs> we took the power from the disk drive cable and then we did a hack job like this where we installed this cable at the IDE controller and at the other side we could we could install a much much cheaper PC hard disk that has been done on this one so let's just open this one just take a quick look so you can uh, so we can get some history on this video also. So here we have a beautiful Amiga 600. A tad dirty, but we're gonna upgrade this with a compact flash card. And a go to drive. So the Amiga 600, pretty simple. Power connector, built-in RF modulator, the Amiga 500 had an external one, it was built in here. Composite video out, shitty signal, <laughs> RGB V out, amazing, perfect signal. Left and right audio, parallel port, never used it. Serial port, never used it. And external disk drive, used it a lot, especially when I played Dune 2. Trap expansion door for RAM upgrade. Disk drive, joystick, and mouse port or joystick player one. PCM CIA, little hack job. So let's open this one together and take a look inside. We're gonna remove the disk drive. Oh, no screw there. <laughs> we're just gonna remove the disk drive and we're gonna install a Gojet drive together, guys. Let's just check off the cable. And open this one. There we go. All right, so as you can see, they have installed a converter. Let's just remove that. I'm not gonna use something like this today. Oh, I haven't seen nothing like this before. This is a pro solution. <laughs> oh man. All right. As I said earlier in the video, we took power from the disk drive, but as I can see here, they take power from this cable, as you can see from the Mega 600 sta standard ID connector. It will, you can install a, you know, CD-ROM drive, external hard disk. This, this solution is still hack job. It was, much cheaper and uh, I had a lot of friends that did something like this. So here we have the June bug. Let's do it like this. Okay, June bug, Amiga 600 revision 1.5. I think that's the most common revision I have seen. There are some few, I, have, I think one or two I have seen where it says Amiga 300. 
if you go back look at the story you'll know why I'm not going into that but today we're just going to remove the external uh, internal disk drive guys the way we do that we just check off this little ribbon cable and let's just remove the keyboard also don't just pull it out you have to check these this little uh, white plastic thing you just pull it up and it will just come out really really easily let's put that on here carefully carefully and the power cable here guys there we go so actually you, you have a screw here but I always like to remove them here first just to be sure pretty simple stuff so we're gonna put in a go to drive and we're gonna use a 3d printed go check mount also now this this drive it works fine but um the go check drive i mean nostalgic reasons i love using these drives absolutely i love cracking trolls i love everything about these drives but there are some days that they're just not that reliable anymore i mean I remember back then when I bought um, new discs, and I remember when they, they when they were no name discs like this, and you can see here we have Amitech discs, and here 3M formatted 720 kilobyte. So I remember the seller told me, dude, if you buy these cheap cheap ones, half the price or something like that these magnets they will only store your data and work for about five years after five years the magnetic effects here it will just die out and you will lose your games don't buy the cheap discs buy something like this Amitech double the price but they will hold your data for 10 years all the sellers told me those stories guys Amiga magazines and all that. So these should work for 10 years. They're like 30 year old. <laughs> I'm still using them. I mean, no name or I don't know what the Siemens, uh, Sony, Amitech. They just work. 30 years old, they work. But some of the discs, I mean, you don't know if they were stored you know with bad condition like this Amiga as you can see we have some rust here some of those discs are bad today so or if you don't have the discs or if you don't have room for thousand discs then this go check solution is just so easy so simple so we just remove this lovely disk drive that is fully working and take a closer look at the GoCheck drive as you can see we just use the same ribbon cable same power cable just make sure that the power cable is connected you know the right way and you install it in the GoCheck drive the right way if you turn around put it in the wrong way here or down here first time you turn it on you will switch between the 5 volt and the 12 volt connector and you will destroy your go to drive for a split second it's just unsavable and this amiga has not been recapped and usually when i buy this amiga 600s this this uh, little thing here it used the, most of the ones that i buy they're just green everywhere and this one actually looks like the nicest Amiga 600 I have bought back in 2018 I bought everything I could guys but but still <laughs> these Amiga 600s I don't know what Commodore did it feels like they used cheaper um, 
caps I, i'm not sure but i have no issues with them make 1200s and i mean they came out they were sold in you know 92 93 I have no issues with them, but these Amiga 600s, oh my god, I've had so much headache with them, guys. The sound, the picture, the black screen. <laughs> so, um, these ones, recap them, no matter what. And if they smell fishy, recap them right away and, uh, and clean everything. Because usually they're just green everywhere here and here at the keyboard connection there they don't look that good so yeah clean them up and recap them so let's get going with the go check drive now so it is time to test the go check drive i have some different go check drives but i just got a donation from from a friend so let's just yeah test that go check drive in this video uh, and see how it goes and i actually got a bag donated this is his GoTech drive. Um, <clears throat> he buys a lot of Amigas. He buys dead Amigas. And he loves to recap them and all that. And you know what, God, it, guys? Every time he gets... Um, what's it called? <laughs> every time he gets... Joysticks like this. <laughs> then he donates them to me. And I got a... From RGB to SCART cable donation here, but <laughs> good old discs. He hates them. <laughs> so every time we see each other, he donates me old Amiga discs, and he loves that. I love them. Old oh, Epidia or what's it called? Megalomania. Impossible Mission. Oh, Theme Park. Used to love that game on the PC. Let's see. Oh, Syndicate. Nice. Pretty squad. Yeah. <clears throat> well, just like almost all of you guys, all of my subscribers, um, my friend doesn't use discs either games on discs but um, yeah I, I I don't know I I think they're still magical guys I love to see what's inside them and all that so yeah it's just fun for me great donations all right let's um I just put in the uh, I just put in an Amiga 600 disk drive again connected everything and um as you can see, I just put in a disc and it loads and it works. So we don't have no issues with the Amiga 600, you know, CIA chip or nothing else. So the disc drive works. So if I install the GoTech and it doesn't work, then it's not the Amiga's fault. <laughs> so let's just take off the, uh, the disc drive and install the GoTech. All right, guys. So let's take a look at this GoTech drive together. So it sits on a 3D print. You can print this one out yourself. There, uh, yeah. if you just write "Go Take Amiga 600," and the file you can just get it online. So this is nice. I, I mean, <laughs> this is for the original eject button for the disc, and um, nice with the hot glue, so these don't touch each other. And. It has got installed OLED display, so you can see what's going on. I don't want to mess with the three, um, what's it called, numbers. And the OLED display is con connected with these four connectors here. You just put in your USB uh, pin and uh, on the display you can see the games and you can just go uh, up and down with these two buttons. So my main concern is uh, how well <laughs> can you read what's going on when the Amiga is closed and the second thing is my fingers are they too fat to reach these buttons well let's install this and find out 
It has got these mounting, mounting thingies here and it's mounted with one screw as I can see. It has this little um, speaker mod, that's nice. So if you want to use this internally, you have some different options with these jumpers. It's hard to read through the camera, but it says S1 and S0. So you will put the jumper on S0, then, then it, uh, it works as a you know DF0. And if you want to have an external one, then just uh, change the jumper uh, position to S1. And um, just on top of that, you have got a jumper called JB. So if you have a speaker like this, you can just install your um, speakers to that connection and it will emulate Amiga disk loading sounds. It's not that accurate, but it's, it's better than nothing. If you want to go with GoTech, do this mod because sometimes when the Amiga is decrunching or what's it called and you just got a black screen, sometimes you're just thinking hey, and it will turn this one off also after some time and just think what's going on? Is the Amiga crashed? <laughs> what is it? Then it can still make some, you know, some sounds here. Then you know that it's, <laughs> that it's loading. That's nice. So let's just check this one out. Uh, the Amiga 600 has got, as you can see, let's just check out the, off the drive here. Instead of talking, it's better to show what's going on. We have power on top. And ribbon cable here. As you can see, this one has two mounting holes up here. And it has got this one down here. Now this screw, uh, it holds the drive and it also holds the motherboard down. That's nice. But this little GoTech drive, as I can see, then it's mounted only with two screws here up top. Now, you're not gonna, you know, push in discs, no, nothing like that. The USB, just put it in and it's on, you know, guys. And you can hit, you can um, download big packages, packs with, you know, hundreds of uh, Amiga games. So you just put in the disc and that's about it. And this gentle pushes should be enough when you have mounted it up top here. So I think it's okay this way. So let me just put in the screws and put in the power and ribbon cable and turn the Amiga on. <laughs> the GoTech drive is installed. So I was thinking about, let's just try to enter the menu. I mean, you have probably seen this thousands of times, but let me also show you <laughs> how it works. So I'm just gonna turn off the Amiga. I don't, I don't have a keyboard installed. So I'm just gonna turn it off and on and show you how this one works, guys. Okay, so when you turn it on for the first time, you just choose track 000. zero, zero. Uh, if you have an OLED display, it will say auto boot. And <clears throat> as you can see here, on the USB, it has got flash floppy installed. The, the files you actually need <laughs> is, um, as you can see here, the config file and the auto boot file. So on this USB, I have a lot of different USBs, guys. On this, we have Workbench, as you can see here. On the Mega 500, Workbench 1.3, Workbench 2.5. Wait. Let's do it like this. Yeah, and do it like this, right? Now you can see it, everything. <laughs> also much, much easier to read, guys. As you can see, uh, Workbench 2, Workbench 3.1, and Xcopy and Sysinfo, and so on. And then I have some different demos, OCS. Now this USB, it has only got OCS stuff, no AGA. I actually don't use 
go to in my Amiga 1200 or Amiga 4000. I mean, using GoTech with Kickstart 3.1, it's not something that I could, that I would recommend at all, guys. Uh, GoTech is for the you know small Amigas with you know Kickstart 1.3, or you will have a lot of compatibility issues. I mean, GoTech with an O30 processor 3.1, good luck. <laughs> so we have some OCS games here. What should we try? Turkin, as always. I love Turkin. Or Sensible or Street Fighter, Secret of Monkey Island, Settlers, Shadow of the Beast. Oh, yes. What should we choose? Oh, Supercars. I love Supercars. Supercars won't work with the Mega 600. <laughs> um, let's try Super Frog. I love that one. So I just clicked on Super Frog Disk 1 and I will go down. No, I will just choose 001 1 press. That was disk 1. Then I go down to disk 2 and choose 002. Disk 3, yeah. And disk 4, yeah. There we go. And then I will just exit this. There we go, and you can also use this, uh, do this with the keyboard. So as you can see, 001 is Super Frog Disk 1, nice. So that's just, you can save, you can reboot, you can change display colors, drive settings, you can do all sorts of stuff, guys, love this. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, so it just say save and reboot, and then I will manually press on zero zero one on the buttons. It did it itself. It did choose zero zero one, so it, it just skips one number. So it will read disk one. <laughs> And at the OLED, dis OLED display, you will see, I will show you in a minute, guys. You will see um, the disk's name. You will see which number of disk it is uh, reading. You will see tracks. As of right now, it's on track 79.1. That's sweet. I love stuff like that. So, um, so it, it, it actually emulates an Amiga disk drive and as you can hear yeah some think that it's great with this uh, loading sound but I don't agree <laughs> I am um, yeah I like I like the original uh, disk loading sound but yeah it is what it is so it will just load the game this way and when it wants disk number two, then it will ask for it. And I will manually just skip to disk two. Yeah, as you can see down there, it stopped loading. That's because, as you can see, we got Super Frog. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's about it. So easy it is to, to just install GoTech and yeah, set up the drive and all that. And if we want to, it actually had something else too. So guys, I will just, there we go. I just turned it, I don't have a keyboard, so I will manually turn it off. So we can see Xcopy. I don't know if it's easy to read, but. read <laughs> yeah it should read this disc now but it doesn't all my all my go checks are like this uh, come on no 
Well, in theory, this should load Xcopy as of right now, but it doesn't. Let's just choose how to boot. Will it work? At this point, it's a good idea to just reset it because, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> now it should just auto boot and go into the menu. Yeah. Nice, nice donation from my friend and. All my other Gotix drive are like this also, so it's not nothing new. Let's just try another game here. Another world, guys. Where's Alien Breed? We don't have Alien. Oh, there. Alien Breed. I forgot to put in the uh, <laughs> audio cables. So when you boot, it actually jumps up. As you can see, I didn't, I didn't choose nothing. It just jumped over to uh, disc one of Alien Breed. And now it should, yeah. I mean, if you don't have the compact flashcard solution, I, I think the compact flashcard reader and a compact flash drive is cheaper than a, than, than a GoCheck drive with OLED or, or, I mean, the same price maybe, I don't know. But if you don't have that solution, if you don't have WHD load, I mean, WHD load with the 68,000 CPU is, is not a good idea. You can do it, but if you just have a standard Amiga 500, or in this case Amiga 600, then a go-to drive is actually a nice solution if you don't have your discs anymore, if your discs are dead. The only thing I would recommend, if you want to do something like this, you know, just a standard go-to upgrade, upgrade it, I mean, it's just so cheap, and a USB pin, um, then I would recommend one thing that you will be so happy with, and that is to check off that Kickstart 2.05, throw it out in the ocean. No, don't do that. <laughs> Just take it out, put in Kickstart 1.3, not 3.1, 1.3, and then run disks. Now it is saying in third disk two. Yeah, just like that. So we have to insert disk two now. And as you can see, it says disk one, and we will press up here. Disk one of two, and we will press one more time. Now it loads, it just, yeah, disk two out of two. Now we just change the disk, isn't that just incredible? We will press fire. And then it reads. That's nice. I will just put on the uh, top cover just to see, see um, if it's even possible to. Oh, we have the USB. I can't do that as I have to turn it off as I can see. All right, guys, as you can see, in a brief, everything works. <laughs> nice. So let's just turn everything off and try to put on the top. Okay. Hmm.
Okay, so the Amiga is covered here. Okay, let's see the side. It is actually, as you can see, it is actually, it's fine. It's fine. It's actually, it, it, it's okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. You know how I am. If I don't like something, <laughs> I will really tell it to you guys, but uh, it's okay. Let's try to, let's try to see the, um, OLED display. Oh, that sucks. Big time. This one. Oh, that, that's a bad solution. So if you do something like this, again, I would recommend, I would always recommend the compact flash card and O30 processor. But if you do something like this, you can, you can um, 3D print an external holder for the OLED display and just put the display here on top so you can see what's going on because this solution you will break your neck every time you have to <laughs> you have to take out what discs inserted and all that so no <laughs> I don't like it that way but the buttons push buttons great solution that 3d printed thingy it's solid it holds everything in place nice solution no trouble with that so yeah there you have it guys now you know how to yeah remove the disk drive install this one yeah use the menu and uh, and load the games that's about it i want to say as always thank you for watching if you learned just a bit something new today i would be so happy <laughs> If not, then I just want to say thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, guys.